Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and another Avakin video. So today I'm going to be talking about the five things that you should be doing every single day in Avakin. So these are things that you should be doing if you want to gain XP, get money, get diamonds, all that sort of things. If you miss a day or two, it doesn't really matter, but for optimum um, success, basically you want to do this stuff every single day. So let's get straight on into it. First off is entering the fashion contest every single day. So there is usually two or even three new ones a day and I suggest that you enter as many as you can. So I can't enter this one because it is gold only and I don't have an item so I ignore that and you go on to the next one. Always do silver and bronze contests. There aren't that many bronze nowadays, there's mostly silver. Always do them because you don't need any um, any actual clothes or anything. You, you just get all the clothes for free. They are 50 coins to enter, but from my experience, even if I do really bad, I always get at least 75 coins back. So that's 25 coins a day. Not a lot, but it does add up. And always enter any gold contest you can. I've already, see I was just testing, I was already entered in this one, so I can't show you, but um, gold competitions are now free to enter. So even if you don't have a lot of things that are in it, for example, there was this one competition where I only had a top. So I ended up entering in gold with just the top on and nothing else. And I looked with her and this, but it's completely free and I ended up getting like 50 coins back anyway. So, you know, it doesn't really matter what it looks like that much because it is free and you're not gonna win them all. Next up is the fashion contest. So you guys should always be voting on the fashion contest. Um, I know it sounded like I was just repeating myself there, but um, voting is very important for a number of reasons. You know, it helps you give your opinion. It helps um, the votes become more accurate and it helps um, you promote what type of styles you like and everything like that. And you can get rewards for it. They're not the best rewards, but they do add up. You can get diamonds, you can get XP for the fashion contest. You can get, um, oh, what's it called? the um, things that make the builds go faster, the um, speed tokens or whatever. You can get the 24 hour ones or the normal one hour ones. So, you know, it's the type of thing that it can take a while to do all of them. I recommend doing it until you actually can't do anymore, until the game says you're not gonna get any more rewards because you've voted so much. And this can take, it's actually not too long. It could take about 15 minutes of continuous voting for it to happen. So if you're on like a lunch break or something, just do it, get it out of the way. Cause it can't, it's not exactly the most fun, but it's just something that I force myself to do every day just for the rewards. And I got 150 Fashion XP. And the Fashion XP, you know, the more contests you get into and the more you vote, your Fashion XP goes up and then when that really goes up, you get normal XP, you can sometimes get items for free and you can get um, coins up to like, Around about a thousand Ava coins where I'm at right now, which is, let me see, level nine. So I get there quite fast. I level up quite fast because I vote and do contests a lot. So you guys should definitely be doing that. Um, even do it while you're sitting watching a movie. Just, you know, it doesn't take a lot of concentration. So that is something I recommend you guys do every day. You should always, always, always collect all your jams every day. So this is the type of thing that most other things I can say you should leave out of it. This is very important because the amount of XP you actually get is insane when you add it up with all the houses. It's like kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> so you collect all the diamonds. Not only does it give you diamonds, um, I have 27 houses now. So I mean 270 diamonds for free a day. Um, and it can take a little while considering how many houses you have um, and depending on uh, which ones you have as well, whether they're small or big. I would say it's definitely worth it though because it gives you a lot of XP, a lot of diamonds and I know diamonds, everyone thinks diamonds are pretty useless. I don't think they are because it means you can swap um, orders with other people for other coins, you can buy some stuff with diamonds. I'm going to do a video on stuff you can buy um, diamonds with because I think they're very very underrated to be honest and I'm just going to go onto this one and skip a couple because this is another little tip but I wouldn't say it's big enough to warrant its own thing. While you're collecting diamonds, there are a few houses. For example, this one and the beach house, there where you can dive. 
and do this twice. It doesn't give you a lot of XP, but while you're there, it literally takes two seconds. So you dive once, that's 15 XP. Dive again, and you will get another 15 XP. I say do it twice because the third time you won't get any XP. I'll do it right now just to show you. Um, you usually get two XP. I didn't because I'm actually not going to show you because you saw it there, but I didn't because I had already dived once today. Um, so obviously that's um, just a little tip for you guys. Um, but yeah, I dive twice every day and collect all my gems and it's why I managed to level up so fast as well as a fashion contest and everything. Another good thing to do is feeding your pets every day. So I have quite a lot, I have 21 so that's almost one for every single house and they're always moody even though I feed them every day. Um, water feed and give them affection and um, so I do that every day for all my pets and it gives you XP and um, makes them you know makes them a bit happier which makes me feel a little bit less sadistic <laughs> so you know it's just that feel good karma and it's only 30 XP doesn't seem like a lot but when you have 21 20 times 30 600 you know so that's like 630 XP just for doing all that that's like a lot a lot more than you think so like I say, all these things, they don't necessarily give you a lot of XP, but because you can do them so frequently and it only takes two seconds while collecting gems to feed your animals, um, it's really, really easy. I also recommend building animals, even the ones that you might not think are that cute or anything. You know, just get them so you can place them, feed them every day, and it gives you an extra XP income. Lastly, we have free mystery boxes. So to get a free mystery box, you need to watch an ad. So this is... Um, quite annoying but um, it can take a while but I usually do it while I'm doing homework or you know something like that so I can just kind of leave my phone for a bit while it's playing the ads, collect my prize, leave my phone a bit, collect the prize. As you can see it's temporarily unavailable because I've done it so much. So you need to watch about 10 videos, that's not completely accurate but it's just kind of around that number and then once you've done that it, um, you will win all the rewards you can and then it was a temporarily unavailable Sorry, I find it hard to say with my accent. <laughs> and um, you won't be able to do it till the next day. So I recommend doing it until you can't do it anymore because you can get items, you can get gems. And um, today, my favorite thing that I won today, I will show you, because um, I was quite happy because it's been something that I've wanted to buy for a little bit. Uh, sometimes you get really rubbish prizes, but I say like even the three gems, it's, it's better than getting absolutely nothing. And um, you sometimes get like the really bad annoying tops like all these but um when you get them the way i see it is well at least i've got them now so there's no way i can get them another time so i'm looking for this top because i actually really wanted it and i'm so glad i got it and i'm kind of wanting to show off a bit it's quite bright as well so i don't understand how i can't see it there it is this is the top i've been wanting for a while and i'm quite glad i got it this is what i got in the mystery box today um, there's this girl on Instagram that I follow as well and she does all the, um, she takes pictures of every free uh, mystery box item she got and sometimes she gets apartments and everything like that. It is rare but it's better to take the chance and it is free so um, you can't really go wrong. So that is it for this video guys. I know it might have been a bit short so I'm sorry about that but I just wanted to kind of do the five main things. There are other things. Um, I will just quickly list off some of the other things you should do is working at the cafe every day and every day you should do tap joy and every day you should watch the adverts on tap joy because they give you good rewards at first then it kind of goes down until you're getting like two avocoins so I watch them a couple times a day so I can get like the 30 avocoins, 30 avocoins um, always check your build machine, all those type of stuff but um, I just kind of thought those were the five main ones that I do every day so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you find it useful. Um, I'm sorry if some of them seemed a bit obvious, but I mean, I just wanted to kind of sum it up um, in one nice little video. So if you guys are on Avakin and you're bored and you don't know what you should be doing to level up and everything, now you know. So like I said, also look out for the how to spend your diamonds video because I'm so sick of seeing people complain about them and I know they're kind of annoying and I know that they're not the best for buying stuff, but they can be very useful. I think they're very underrated. So look out for that video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.